B. Clark. B. Clark, born Violet Mary Klotz, August 16, 1910, April 29, 1992, was an American actress. She is widely remembered for playing Henry Frankenstein's bride Elizabeth, who is chased by Boris Karloff in Frankenstein, and for being on the receiving end of James Cagney's Heft Grapefruit in The Public Enemy. Both films were released in 1931. Early Life B. E. Clark was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her father was a theater organist. She studied dancing as a child and began on stage in vaudeville and also worked in nightclubs. Career B. E. Clark started her professional career as a dancer in New York City, sharing a room with Barbara Stanwyck. She subsequently starred in many films for Universal Studios, including the original screen version of the front page 1931 and the first sound version of Frankenstein 1931 with Boris Karloff. Clark played the role of Henry Frankenstein's fiance, Elizabeth. The Public Enemy, released that same year, contained one of cinema's most famous and frequently parodied scenes, in which James Cagney pushes a half-grapefruit into Clark's face, then goes out to pick up Jean Harlow. The film was so popular that it ran 24 hours a day at a theater in Times Square upon its initial release. Clark's ex-husband had the grapefruit scene timed and would frequently buy a ticket, enter the theater to again enjoy that sequence, then immediately leave the theater. Clark appeared as Myra Deauville in the 1931 pre-code version of Waterloo Bridge. In the film, she portrays a young American woman who is forced by circumstance into a life of prostitution in World War I London. Both the film and Clark's performance were well received by the critics. Clark also appeared in the modest pre-code universal film Night World 1932 with Lou Ayres, Boris Karloff, Hedda Hopper, and George Raff. In 1933, she was the female lead in John Gilbert's last film as a contracted MGM star Fast Workers. Clark remained a leading lady up to and including 1937. She slipped into supporting roles from 1940, although she had a few last leading roles in the late 1940s, notably as the heroine in the Republic serial King of the Rocket Men, 1949. In 1933, Clark and actor Phillips Holmes were in a single-car accident that left her with a broken jaw and facial scarring. In the 1950s and 1960s, Clark played uncredited bit parts in several notable films, including Singin' in the Rain, The Great Caruso, and thoroughly modern Millie. Her last screen appearance was in the 1970 film Watermelon Man. On television, Clark appeared in many episodic series, including General Hospital, Perry Mason, and Batman. Clark retired in 1970 and taught drama. Personal life and death. Clark was married and divorced three times to Fanny Bryce's brother Lou Bryce, Stevens Bancroft, and Herbert Langdon. All of the unions were childless. In later years, Clark resided at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, California. Clark died from cancer on April 29, 1992, at age 81. She is buried in Valhalla Memorial Park Cemetery. Selected Filmography Features Short Subjects Screen Snapshots 1932, Documentary Short Herself. Screen Snapshots Series 16, No. 7, 1937, Documentary Short Herself.